So welcome back into the dungeon. Here we have Vibrolux Reverb, the custom Vibrolux Reverb. So it's uh, made in America, but it's a bit noisy. And well, if you've seen inside one of these before, you'll see there's something different going on over here. So what have I done? I've done what Fender used to do in the old days. A piece of wire taken to the signal leads at the various stages, wrapped around multiple times, brought around back to the other one, grounding it, creating a shielding, very basic and crude shielding without desoldering anything. Now, of course, I could put shielded wires all along here. That would make a huge difference. But this actually has quietened the amp down to the same standard that you will find the old original amps. And they were pretty quiet. So this is a quick and simple solution. Basically, what you're going to have to do is get yourself some lugs that and I did this step last I first just anchored the wire at some place and did the wrapping all the way around one wire for two stages of each tube there's one exception and that's this guy over here where both stages are together this is part of the reverb circuit so one ground wire just wrapped around the signal side and on the input stages I didn't even bother with the uh, the cathode bypass circuits uh, it would have probably been better but there were a few complications over here that made it a bit awkward, so I said no. I'll just do the signal, so grid and uh, plate on both sides. Screened it up, and uh, I'm going to pause it now because I want to show you the result once it's all closed up. So stick around, and we'll see, what I'd, see how it goes. Okay, there it is, and uh, yeah. It's hissing, but that's kind of normal at this volume. Let me turn up the guitar and you'll see what I mean. So, here we go. So, yeah, all things taken into account, she's really good. And uh, go back to the owner. Happy customer. Hopefully. Thanks for watching. See you again next time in the dungeon. Bye.